Good morning, everybody. This is a quick tutorial on the view.nku.edu virtual computer and using Nexus virtually. Um, the first thing you want to do to be able to access Nexus virtually, and remember, this is just for file transfer. It's not going to be fast enough to do um, any kind of editing uh, itself online because you're going to be tied to the slowest speed that you have uh, on any of your uh, internet, you know, jumps inside the, uh, you know, inside the internet out there. Um, but so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to view.nku.edu, view.nku.edu, and that's going to bring up this page right here for the VMware Horizon. Now, the thing that you want to make sure that you are doing is installing the Horizon client if you're going to be transferring data from uh, your computer to the, um, to, to the Nexus. If you access it only through HTML access, the capabilities there, you can, you can um, access things through the cloud, but it's going to be much more difficult to get things through. So uh, since you're on your own devices, I strongly recommend that you go ahead and just install the client. And you've got all the different kind of clients that you can install. Um, and then uh, what you're gonna be looking for is this, the VMware Horizon client once it is installed and you're going to open it up and you are once again, if you notice here on my server, I'm going to view.nku.edu, view.nku.edu. You are viewing a computer on campus. In doing this, you're going to use your NKU login and you will probably only see a, one or two different uh, servers. I have a, a few extras on my login. The one that you want is the COI Labs server. That's, of course, the computer. That is, of course, the College of Informatics um, layout. And, you know, that's where, that's where we are, uh, that's where we are located. Now, these servers are actually not located in Griffin Hall, um, but you can access them from anywhere. Now, while this is loading up here, I'll also point out there are um, uh, VMware Horizon uh, uh, apps for mobile devices. So I have run a Windows machine off of my iPhone. I have run a Windows machine off of an Android tablet. Um, it is fully functional and you don't have any, uh, any really limitations as far as the computer goes for the computer that is inside this window. So you'll notice that I have my Mac window still here. In here, this is the Windows machine that is located um, across campus. Now, before I actually go and I, I log on to my Nexus here, I am gonna go up under my VMware Horizon client and I'm gonna check my preferences. And this is key. This is key to be able to transfer from your local computer over here to the virtual computer. It is the sharing button under your preferences. You want to allow access to your local computer. So you gotta make sure that this button is checked. I think it's also valuable to have a low, allow access to removable storage in case you have removable storage on your local computer, but really it's probably mostly about this local computer because that local computer then allows you to get anything that's connected to that local computer. So you gotta have this button checked. If you don't have that checkbox, you're not gonna be able to take things from your local computer to the Nexus or to any of these virtual servers. So I have it checked. Um, if you, uh, if you log on to the VMware Horizon client and it is not checked, check it. You'll probably have to re-log on again, but that's key. Once I'm logged on, if I log on to my Nexus client, then there we go. I double click on that. There's my Nexus. Here are all my, my partitions. Now, of course, you probably have um, a few fewer than I do. I've just got a lot of, uh, of partitions there. So you've got all of our different workspaces. And so I can say, okay, I'm working with my EMB 140 classes. So I'm going to mount those two. You'll notice that I have two drives that pop up here. I am now mounting those to the X and the Y partitions. Now, if you are, if you're familiar with Windows, you'll notice, hey, what happened to Z? Um, you know, your local computer uh, removable is an A, your hard drive inter interior is a C. If you've got a uh, secondary hard drive, you've got your first one that's attached, it's probably D. Notice that these are coming at the end of the alphabet. That is because as I load up my this PC, you'll notice that my network drive Z here is mounted. Network drive Z is my local computer. So if I were to, you know, if I were to uh, open up my EMB 140, 
There's my little file structure for EMB 140. That is on the Nexus on the third floor of Griffin Hall here. This network drive, when I load it up, this is my computer, my local computer. So again, having that checkbox checked is key. And that allows me to have all of my access to, um, you know, there's my, this is my desktop. So this is reflecting this. Um, my documents folder, my downloads, you know, Dropbox, my OneDrive, you know, basically my entire file structure for my local computer is here. So if you've got your projects, you got your media on your local computer or linked to your local computer, then from here, um, if I create, whoops, let me create myself a new window, then it's very easy to just go, okay, I want this to go to my EMB 140 section. And then I could be, then I could drag and drop uh, my my files from my local computer here to my partition where I need to have them in my um, in the Nexus. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, once you're done, you're just uh, you're coming here and you are logging off, shutting down my virtual computer, and now I am back on my local computer. So, hope that makes sense. Good luck and happy editing. <laughs>